The Menominee Maroons begin the high school football season this Friday against their rivals from Marinette. With a lot of youth on the team in 2022, they're returning plenty of players they hope will carry them to success in 2023. Tor Thorne has more. In 2023, the Menominee Maroons football team enters their second season under the leadership of head coach Chad Brandt who previously had a long stint as coach for the Stevenson Eagles. With a playoff appearance and a playoff win in year one leading the program, Brant says he took away plenty from his first season as head coach that he can apply going forward. I think just learning the kids better and what to expect. Uh, we try to put high expectations on the players and the student athletes here uh, in the classroom on the field. And I think, uh, I guess we raise the bar even more and we try to push them. And I guess what I found and carried over is that the more we've pushed them in the offseason, they've accepted and want more. We haven't had kids bowing out or saying uh, this ain't going the right way. So we're excited that it seems to buy in and, and keep pushing uh, and moving forward. With three state championships in the past 25 years, the team knows the expectations they have to strive for as members of the Maroon program. I mean, coming in as a new coach, you want to win games, right? So we obviously want to, we have his back and we want to win games too. So. I think we're not the biggest team in the UP, but that's for sure, but I think we're fast. We're fast, that's for sure. Everyone's all in, all in on the team, no matter if you're out on the weekend or whatever, just all in to the team. I think the Maroon program speaks for itself. Uh, the tradition here uh, runs deep. We're going on uh, Team 130 this year. Um, so 1893 football started around here. Um, I'm a lucky person to be part of it, uh, but the people that have uh, played here, cheered here, supported here. Uh, the expectations are high, and I, I think uh, when I put those on the players, uh, they feel that as well and, and like it that way. While the team lost some key weapons from 2022, their overall youth last season means a lot of the team will return with more experience in the new year, helping them to hit the ground running in 2023. I think we're very fast and we're very strong, so I think that's going to help us with a little bit of everything, offense and defense. Everyone's locked and ready to go, and I just think it's going to be a good year. We are a very young team, so being a young team, we, uh, I think we had four or five seniors. Uh, one got hurt early, so we we're playing a few, and uh, that means last year we, we brought back our entire offensive line, who were all freshmen, sophomores last year and a junior. We bring back an entire offensive line. We bring back... Uh, a main running back, you bring back our quarterback, that sort of helps. So continuity of getting going, um, I can see that we're ahead of where we were last year. While the postseason is always the ultimate goal, for the time being, it's about getting better each and every day. Uh, we don't put it on record, we, we just put it on, uh, are we getting better, are we practicing, are we pushing each other? Um, you're getting better, you're getting worse, and I hope that we push each other and let it be team driven, not coaches driven. If, if our team is driving each other to get better. Uh, the goal of getting better each rep in practice and each week we take the field to, to get better. Uh, that's pretty much our focus each day and each week. Reporting in Menominee, Torthorn, Local 3 Sports.